Third, you're going to need schema markup. Local business schema is arguably the most important and that goes on your Google business profile landing page, usually your homepage. That code must match your Google business profile exactly. For other pages, use different types of schema. Service pages get service schema, blog posts get article schema, FAQ sections get FAQ schema. Ask ChatGPT to write all of these schemas for you and test them in Google schema testing tool until there are zero errors and zero warnings. If there are errors or warnings, give those to ChatGPT and have ChatGPT fix them. Fourth, you want to set up Google Search Console. It's a free tool and it tells you if Google's having any problems with your site. If your pages aren't indexed, you'll know. If there are technical issues, you'll know. Just log in once a month and fix anything it finds or rely on that trusty developer to do it for you again. Now, building links for a local business is very different from regular SEO. You don't need thousands of links. You just need a handful of the ones. So let me show you exactly where to get them. First, you're probably going to want to join your local chamber of commerce. It costs around $200 a year, but it gives you such a powerful local link. In a lot of cities, a lot of smaller cities especially, one chamber of commerce link is enough to rank. If it's not, don't just stop at your city's chamber, join all the chambers of commerce in nearby cities too. Each one of them is going to give you a very high quality local link. Next, look up the manufacturers of the products you install. If you're a plumber, check the websites of water heater brands you use. Many have dealer or installer locators where you can get listed with a link back to your site. Another very powerful link. Third, find some local sponsorship opportunities. Youth sports leagues, local events, school programs, these organizations often list sponsors on their websites. Plus, it's good for your community and customers like that too. 